Hi everyone, in today's episode of Girl Meets World Broadcasting, we have 20 plus monochrome outfits. This video was shot two months ago, but then I lost my camera's card and magically found it a week later, hence this delayed video. Nevertheless, better late than never, right? So without further ado, let's start with my favorite color, blue. First, we have blue corduroy overalls. This overall is my favorite purchase from a store called Aziza. I hope I'm not butchering the store's name. Hands down, this has to be the most comfortable pants that I've ever worn. One particular thing I like about this store is that it is run by a young girl and I always feel so proud when buying from young entrepreneurs who are just, you know, genuinely trying to grow. Um, and it's always so refreshing to see girls taking lead in whatever they do. So yeah, check the store out and no, I'm not sponsored. This is just a genuine review. Next up in the blue category, we have an outfit that is heavily inspired by V, aka Kim Taehyung, aka Mr. Good Boy. Next in line, we have local Gingham girl with her local awkward dance moves. No matter how much I resemble a picnic blanket, I love this dress and what I love even more is my patent boots. Okay, for this outfit, I want to say that baggy jeans are not going anywhere anytime soon. I paired mine with a simple crop tee and white chucks. I wish I had reasons to go out like this, but quarantine or no quarantine, I'm a couch potato who dresses up only for making fun lookbook videos. This is yet another outfit that involves corduroy material. By the end of this video, you can tell that I'm absolutely obsessed with corduroy. Also, nobody asked for this, but flawed as they might be, I will always be a pot ahead and Harry Potter books will always be my safe space. So this is the final outfit from the blue category. I was just experimenting with the blue cardigan that I have and then I came up with this look. And I must say, I'm in love with it. So this outfit is pretty special to me because the cardigan that I'm wearing was gifted to me by my brother. It is infused with love and warmth. The material is so soft that you can just sleep in it. But I'm not gonna sleep in it because then it will have lints on it and then... Okay, you get my point, right? This is the softest cardigan that I've ever worn. Next up in the yellow monochrome outfit, we have crop cardigan and checkered plaid skirt from YesStyle. I look like 90s high schooler on her way to get bullied by the trio mean girls. This is the green version of the previous yellow outfit and for some reason I am into greens nowadays and no I'm not talking about veggies. For this look I have utilized my long forgotten sleeveless dress but the highlight of this look is definitely the cute bag that I'm holding. Thank you so much Borsa for sending me this bag. They not only curate affordable handbags but also donate 10% of their incurred profit to the organization in need. Okay, so this outfit is perfect because A. This is vintage thrifted piece. B. It has shoulder bats. And C. I would wear this and take this dress to my grave. Even though I will not be buried, I will be burned to ashes. But that's another story. Here we have typical Japanese arts major student. I have paired another one of my softest purple cardigan with long midi skirt. The color of my Frida Kahlo tote bag matches with the entire ensemble. Hence this monochrome outfit that I absolutely love. All fall, I was obsessed with sweater vest. It's winter now and I'm still obsessed with it. Here I have styled my sweater vest with a big oversized shirt, which is my mom's and a baggy white pant. Next, we have purple dress and long knee high boots. I didn't have black bag to carry but it would have been perfect for this outfit if I had one. My mom bought this dress 5 years ago and it still fits me the same. I styled this with my patent boots and a black tote bag. Here 
here I am almost camouflaging with my wall. This is a super simple, cute and easy look for the fall and it has pockets. Have you ever wondered why female outfits are always manufactured with not so deep pockets contrary to men? Another propaganda to sell handbags, I guess. So for this look, I have layered a white turtleneck under a pink body contrast and topped it off with my another corduroy shirt in pink. You have seen my pink satin dress from Taeyang, but this time I've worn an artsy lines shirt underneath to make it extra quirky and this fit, I would totally wear it outside. This outfit is my favorite one. Also somehow I get a need vibe from this, sort of like Misaki from Kaicho Wa Made Sama. Also Usui was my first fictional character I was crushing hard for. And then this is me trying to look like the guy from Breakfast Club. I paired my full leather pants with my all-time favorite long coat and my platform boots. On beige, I've styled this sweater with a collar shirt underneath with plaid skirt. This is another outfit that will be perfect for school slash college look and I am once again carrying my straw bag which you must have seen in my last videos. And this is my outfit that I wear in reality to my school. I love a big cardigan over baggy pants. I styled it with my yellow chucks and I'm ready to learn about Immanuel Kant's enlightenment theory. Okay, this is the wrap guys. I'm so tired of wearing all the outfits, hence the messy hair. Hope you had fun watching this. One of my newest resolution is to definitely add more content on my YouTube. So like, share and subscribe and thank you once again for watching.